name this engine. The men had been working on the new engine for a long time. What's his name? The other ones kept asking. I don't know. It's a secret. It's always the reply. Everyone just called him number seven. At last, Peter Sam could contain himself no longer. He asked the thin controller. And the thin controller smiled. Wouldn't you like to know? He teased. I do. What is it? Came a chorus of voices. But I'm not telling. You'll have to wait until the naming party. I know you, the railway's chief engineer, was going to do the naming. Even he didn't know the engine. But Mr. Hugh, you must know. Protested Scarlo. I'm afraid not. Laughed Mr. Hugh. The name won't be painted on until the last minute. It must be a place, but a person, said Sandal. To match us, he added. I think it's a place, decided Renee. But why is it a secret? The engines didn't know, but Renee's idea was, they thought, the best answer. On the great day, a special train was to pick up the thin controller, his guests, and Mr. Hugh, and bring them to the bottom station for the ceremony. Scarloe, as the oldest engine, was going to pull it. The day was sunny. Kathy and Lizzie came early to the shed. First they cleaned Scarloe, and then they polished Peter Sam. Scarloe whistled for shit, and went to the bottom, and by then, all the engines were the smartest one. Scarloe passed the big house with the big control. There he ran round the tree and pulled it back down the road. He stopped at the big house, and when the thin controller and his guests were on the train, he stopped again near the cottage where Mr. Hugh lived. Scar Lowy had just restarted when, with a squealing noise, something dashed past his front wheels. He stopped quickly. What on earth? demanded the fireman, jumping from his cab. In long grass beside the line lay a large mother pig, and frisking around her were seven pink piglets. Clearly, Scarlowy could go no further until they were safely caught. But they didn't want to be caught. Oh dear, shrugged Scarlowy. We're going to be late for the party. I know we are. Then controller, Mr. Hugh, and even some of the guests joined in the pig chase, until at last all the animals had been captured and put carefully back in the field. <laughs> at the bottom station, a large crowd had gathered. All the engines except Scar Lowy were there, and number seven, with his name covered, simmered quietly. The minutes ticked slowly by. The manager looked at his watch. Something must be wrong, Runez whispered to Duke. Scarlo should be here by now. Perhaps the thin controller wasn't ready, suggested Duncan, but was firmly hushed by the others. At last, he heard a whistle in the distance. A little later, Scarlo puffed thankfully into the station. I'm sorry we're late, Mr. Hughes said, but we've been chasing pigs. And he told them about it. However, he went on, I'm here to name an engine. I don't know what it's called yet, so I shall have to read it to you. Therefore, I name this engine. He pulled away the curtain. Bless my soul! No, not that. It's Ivo Hugh! He turned to the thin controller. 